Hey everybody, it's me. I'm back with another video. So I'm out here uh, on my patio. And on my deck, on my patio. And um trying to get some sun on my forehead and stuff. And um and just and just meditating, taking it easy. I'm drinking some coffee, because I need that in my life. Um I I got up, I got up, um I woke up the first time. And, and have you ever woke up and it was too early? And then you go back to sleep and you wake up and it's way beyond like the time that you would normally wake up. And you wanna be, you on the verge of, or you, you wanna be a little bit upset, but you can't help but to be thankful because it's a blessing to wake up and be alive. It's a blessing that the Lord kept you protected while you were asleep. You know what I'm talking about? Is if it, it might be somebody that's listening to this video that knows what I'm talking about. But that's what I'm talking about. And I know my, my head scarf is not really no particular way right now. And I, I don't really feel no particular way about it. I hope you don't. I hope I hope I hope I hope that's not the the topic of of the video, but um I had one or two things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So first, let me just say that we're in the last days, and if you if if you're not aware of that, wake up. Wake up. So because we're in the last days, it's a lot of things happening in the spirit realm and things are being revealed and things are being exposed and things are being realized that were once maybe um proposed and maybe you we might not have fully understood what was being proposed at that time and now we have a better understanding of um the nature of of the things um so it's it's the last days and the veil Lord have mercy the veil from the other side is getting thinner And I'm just trying to say, um, Korea <laughs> Basia, um, spiritual visitations. I, let me just say, like, I had a best friend. She passed away in 2001. 2001. Two, I mean, 
2021. And um, that was hard for me. <laughs> Needless to say, it wouldn't have been as hard if she hadn't have been such a good friend, but she was an exceptional friend and an exceptional person. I learned so much from her and I miss her so much. But y'all, let me tell you, in 2022, I received a visitation from her around her birthday time. And her birthday is October 31st. So it's one of those birthdays that you won't forget each year. And it's one of those birthdays where, you know, I mean, <laughs> I was standing in my kitchen, y'all, and and it was like I was in the refrigerator doing something, getting something out or, or doing something, and I could see like a shadowy figure behind me, and this shadowy figure just kept moving, like trying to get my attention. And, um... I turned around and I looked and and she was standing there like looking at me with her hand on her hip and she was looking at me like and, and I did although I didn't hear what she said I knew what she was talking about and she was saying so you forgot my birthday <laughs> she was she was asking me if I forgot her birthday but y'all I kid you not I was going through so much warfare at the time in my life that yeah technically i did forget her birthday um yeah but that's just one example so a friend of mine her mom passed away in was i think that was also i think it was also in 2021 and I'm going to tell y'all, this friend of mine, she and I, I thought were pretty close. And I don't know what's going on. Like I said, <laughs> it's the last days. <laughs> so people that you might have always been close to, you might be finding that, you know, people are changing or people have changed. And I don't know. Maybe they don't have a tolerance for you or your light might irritate their demons. I don't really don't know what's going on. I really don't know because I really haven't talked to her about that particular issue. And I'm not so much bothered bothered by that particular issue. Um, what's more important for me is to do the will of the Lord. And what's also important to me is to finish giving her the message that her mom, her mom visited me. Her mom visited me. Her mom visited me twice, matter of fact. And me and her mom, we wasn't close like that. So when her mom visited, I didn't, I couldn't hear her mom say anything. So all I could tell her is that her mom came and visited me. And that's what happened. And so maybe she might have thought I was crazy or why is she telling me this? Why is she going to make something up like that to tell me that? When she know, well, if my mom could come visit her, why wouldn't my mom come visit me? You know, or whatever. I don't know what her rationale or thinking would be. I don't know. But I don't have no reason to lie. I don't have no stake in the in the claim. I don't have no no reason to. I mean, why would I tell her that just arbitrarily out of nowhere for nothing? But that's what happened. Her mom came to visit me. But but y'all, that's been like a year. That's been like a year almost two. That's been like a year and a half, almost two years ago. Her mom came to visit me, and she came to visit me twice.
She didn't say nothing. And I really didn't know what her vi what what was her visit about. I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know anything else to tell my friend what that the, the, the visit was about. But just the other day, while I was in the secret place, the Lord started revealing to me that people from the other side, and, and oh, and let me tell you, it's it's, it's a video also. Peniel, Peniel. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but if you haven't, look him up, Peniel. Um, I think it's P-E-N. I don't know, Peniel. Look him up, look him up. But he's he's the truth. But anyway, um, it was something on there that I watched, and it was talking about. Actually, it was talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. It was talking about how there is an afterlife and how there are people that's kind of like roaming in this afterlife and they can see, feel, hear and all that, but we can't actually hear them, but they can see us. Like I said, so you telling me her mom, I asked the Lord, I was like, so you telling me her mom can see me? He's just like, yeah, she can see you. I say, so her mom be watching me? She's like, yeah, her mom be watching you. Wow. But I think what's, what's even more important is not only that her mom can see me, but her mom can see who I am spiritually. Her mom can see who I am spiritually. So I began to ask the Lord, so why was she, why, why does she keep coming to visit me? Why? So what was she saying? And, um, and so the Lord was letting me know that, um, her mom wanted me to help her daughter, which is my friend because she goes to church, she goes to church, but have you ever, have you ever experienced people that been to church all their life? They grew up in church and they just churched out. That's their lifestyle. That that's it's it's not just that it's a religion. It's a lifestyle. It's it's everything to them. It's that they churched out. And so I went to church too. I went to church as well growing up. But I I just I just never became churched out. You know if that makes sense. But when I first well, not as soon as I started the journey, but around 2020, I was getting ready to go to church. 2019, 2020. And um, that particular day, as I was getting my clothes out that, that morning, the Lord told me not to go. I said, huh? Don't go. You mean what? The church? Don't go to church. I said, why, Lord? He said, because they're not doing it right. They're not doing it right. So I didn't ask any more questions. He, he, he specifically told me to come out from among them and be separate. That's not to say that I'm afraid of church, but don't, I mean, I think what he was saying, don't become a member of any of these churches. Don't get connected or intertwined with these churches. You know, I guess I guess if you have to go to somebody's uh, memorial service or something like that, I mean that's under that's I guess that's understandable. Or I guess if you if you went to a service or whatever and prayed over yourself before you go, I guess I guess that's understandable. I guess, but the Lord gave me instruction to not to go because they're not doing it right. And from my understanding, he wasn't just talking about the church that I was planning to go to. He was talking about churches as a whole. They're not doing it right. So I didn't I didn't ask him any further. I didn't I didn't I didn't continue to ask him any further because I was already being led by his Holy Spirit and I was already being taught and ministered to by his Holy Spirit.
But back on the topic about her mom, my friend's mom. I couldn't figure out for the life of me, why did her mom come visit me? Me. Yeah. So the Lord said, yeah, it's because she was telling you to help her daughter. Tell her daughter the truth about how the churches are not doing it right. Come out from among them. Tell her daughter the truth. Some of these churches can can be can be to a point where it's almost like being in a cult. Like these people are un, they hypnotized. Airplane, everything want to come right now while I'm doing this video. But um, they can they 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 can be hypnotized like they in a trance or something. Um. So I spoke to my friend yesterday about getting together and the conversation went well enough and it sounded like, you know, that's what was going to happen. But I, I felt as soon as I hung up the phone with her, that there was going to be opposition and interference, that the devil was going to interfere. Somebody was going to try to tell her I'm crazy or somebody was going to try to give her a report about me before I ever even talked to her about the report that God gave me. But let me tell you something now. Now, aside from what her mom, aside from that her mom visited me and aside from the Lord gave me revelation about how people are aware of us from the other side because some of the people they haven't been judged yet some of them are still roaming and um anyway the lord just kept saying ezekiel ezekiel i mean no matter what i did y'all ezekiel kept popping up on my phone ezekiel ezekiel i mean no matter what i was listening to or watching on my phone ezekiel just kept popping up But what really convicted me is the second chapter of Ezekiel. So when you get a chance, you guys need to read it because if you know the truth and you know the way and you know that the Lord is the life and without him, there is no other way. There is no other truth. There is no other life. If you know that. And you don't tell other people the gospel, uh, the good news of the Lord, then they blood is going to be on your hand. You got to tell them what thus saith the Lord. You got to tell them the truth. You got to give them the warning that we at the last days, like this is the end. The Lord can come anytime now. We under judgment. Everybody's going to be judged. So, so, so we at that time now. Okay. It's no longer it's no longer talking about it and and saying that it's coming. No, it's it's imminent. It's here. So that's that's also my my warning to anybody who's listening to this video. That's also my warning for you to let you know that that's what's happening. The Lord is not playing, and he's when he comes back, he's not coming back, back to play patty cake. He's not coming back to reason with nobody. He's not coming back to be holy. Be, well, he, he's always going to be holy, but he's not coming back to be gentle. I'm just going to tell you the truth. The only ones that shall have mercy is the ones that's righteous. And I advise anybody that if you righteous, remain righteous. If you feel like you need to go back and go back and ask the Lord, is it anything that you need to correct? I would recommend you do that. 
And if you already know that it's something that you need to correct or repent of, y'all, a feather out of nowhere, a white feather, oh my goodness. Angels, angels are around. Oh my God. How this feather just come out of nowhere, y'all? I hope it come over here. It's floating in the air. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's confirmation that what I'm doing and what I'm speaking of is absolutely correct. Okay? So, yeah, so as I was saying, um, if you need to repent of anything, if you need to go back and search yourself and, 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 and make sure that you don't, you don't have anything that's undone, uh, don't be walking around arguing with people, gossiping, um, being arrogant, uh, because you got to be holy. I mean, you got to be able to be holy, yeah. But you got to be meek. You got to be humble. Because that's the only ones that's going to inherit the earth. The other ones, they go in another, they go into another area. But it won't be here. It's a part in the word of God where it says the dead in Christ, they gonna they gonna rise up. They gonna rise up. And they gonna be given a chance to um live their life or experience life or do um life in the right way or something like that. And um and once they do that and once they do that or they make their decision whether that's what they want to do or not those people will um be judged in the second coming of the Lord second coming So my neighbors my neighbors came out so I had to speak to them, even though, <laughs> anyway, I won't even say nothing. I'm not even going to say nothing. But, yeah. Um, Y'all need to be aware of people that's practicing Wicca in your neighborhood. You better be, you better be aware of what's going on around you in, in your neighborhood. Because darkness don't like light. So um if if you if you live in near people that's practicing darkness and evil and wickedness, then those gonna be your automatically they're gonna be your enemies. Okay? That, that, that I just threw that in, you know, just, just as food for thought, just as um giving you uh, so, when when the Lord say pray without ceasing, He says that with, with much reason. It's it's so many reasons why we need to be prayerful always. Okay, there's so many reasons why. Because it's things that that want to be hidden, but the Lord is no longer letting them be hid. Like I said, the veil is getting thinner. It's getting so thin to the point, in fact, that we can see people from the other side. Some people can hear. Some people can hear, and I I can see. So, none of those people that I that I that visited me, I wasn't able to hear them, but I was able to see them. But some people can hear, but they may not be able to see. Some people can hear and see. So that's why it took me so long to get the understanding of why would her mom come to visit me? Because the Holy Spirit revealed it to me 
but he revealed it to me in his timing. In his timing. That's why, that's why you hear the, the old people say, and you will understand it better by and by, by and by, by and by. By and by is, is the reason why you understand it better by and by is because sometimes the Lord don't give you the understanding of things, excuse me, all at once. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put it like this. I guess the title of this video would be I'm seeing dead people. I'm seeing dead people. And um I got confirmation too. I got confirmation too because it was so funny because as soon as I, I the Lord started revealing this stuff to me yesterday, I went and called my friend and asked her if we could do a meetup. But we didn't meet up. And, um, I, that night, that night when I got home, I was looking on my phone, and Sister Carrie Ann, I don't know if you guys listen to her or not, but look her up. Sister Carrie Ann, she had a video on her, um, channel. And, and she was talking about what kind of gift is this that she had. And the gift that she had, she said she called it a gift because she she want to know, do anybody else um, experience the same thing? Like, like I said, she was saying she can hear in the spirit realm and she can hear dead people. Because she recognized the voices. She said it was her grandma's voice, her uncle's voice. And I think she said her granddad voice. But anyway... The, those are people that she she's familiar with their voices and she heard them in the spirit realm and so i'm saying all that to say that i don't know who god chooses to do what he chooses let me tell you how these birds man if you don't go head on how these birds be trying to um any other time a bird will fly away from you but how you know that a bird is monitoring you is if they coming all up on you and keep hanging around you while you talking. They monitoring. They monitor it. They, they can, they can, uh, these uh, different entities from the spirit of darkness, they can take on different uh, animal, uh, they, they, can, they can be different animals. And they monitor on the true people of God. They spy on on you. And if it's somebody that's without knowledge, they'll think that what I'm talking about is crazy. They'll think what I'm talking about is crazy. I, I sound just as loony. If you don't have no knowledge of the spirit realm and you don't know the truth, they'll think what I'm talking about is crazy. But for somebody that know what I'm talking about, is it anybody out there? Is it anybody out there know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but for the people that's out there that know what I'm talking about, they'll know, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to relate. To what I'm talking about. Just like this scratch right here. You probably can see it. This scratch right here on, on me. Many well, I always tell people that mean that I'm I'm the one. <laughs> I'm the one. But anyway, um, what I'm trying to say is many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. You gotta know that as a true child of God. Just like every time it's time for me to make a video. The witches and warlock, they mess my skin up so bad. They have my skin looking so bad on, on camera. And then in real life, it, it don't look, but 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 on camera, they have me. You hear that? But then when I'm on camera, it, it just looks so bad. But I'm just I'm just telling it, I'm I'm just saying that for the ones that know what I'm talking about. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Yeah.
So know that, child of God. And be encouraged, not discouraged. Still hold your head up regardless of the warfare. Still hold your head up regardless of the situation. I'm going to tell you something. If you're a true child of God, you've been through warfare. This is nothing new. You've been through warfare probably all your life. This is nothing new. So hold your head up and, 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 and be true to who you, who you really are. And who you are is a warrior. You're a conqueror. You fall down and get back up over and over and over because the Lord keeps restoring you. He keeps strengthening you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Okay? All right, so everybody keep the faith. And, yeah, the veil is getting thinner. We have a responsibility to spread the true gospel of the Lord to others. You got to warn people. Even people that you 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 had already decided you wasn't even going to talk to them no more. <laughs> you had decided you wasn't even going to talk to them no more. You you may have decided it's a wrap. I'm not I'm not trying to make nobody talk to me and I'm not trying to talk to them no more either. You know? You had already concluded that these people you had already concluded that you seen the reality of these people's personality. You had already concluded that they had showed you the, the true them, the real side of them. You had already concluded that it's a wrap. I'm not trying, I'm not going after nobody to try to make nobody talk to me or make nobody realize. You had already concluded that. But that's not what the Lord said. That's not what Ezekiel chapter 2 says. Ezekiel chapter 2 said, you got to go tell these people anyway. You got to go tell these people anyway. And he said, and he said, he said, and, and let me tell you what, let me say, let me tell you what, what the Lord said, what thus saith the Lord in Ezekiel. He said, they are rebellious. How Israel, and you know who Israel is. Israel is us. Us. He said they are rebellious house. They're a rebellious house. He said you're going to go to tell them and, and they're going to be stubborn. I'm paraphrasing this part. But he did say they're a rebellious house. And he kept saying it. Because they are. He said he said they don't accept him. And 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 they 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 have turned against him. And his word. They 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 don't want they don't want the truth. They don't want the truth. Israel the true tribes, the true the true 12 scattered tribe. He said they are rebellious house. Hard-headed. Think everything, think they better. It is some you got some on. Think they they better. They uppity. They want to try to judge who the message coming from. If you don't have nails and and a fake weave or, or, or whatever, a makeup, a face full of makeup and and it, it's a tight garments and high heels, and you ain't you ain't talking about nothing. Cause what's your fashion? What's your what's your label? What what kind of uh, 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 labels and, and and stuff did you? Why you don't have no eye, no eye, eyebrow eyelashes and, and stuff things? That's what they want to know. Why you not talking like speaking like this and speaking like that and talking like this and and talk like that's gonna make your prayer go any further? The Lord say, come to him in spirit and in truth. And I know good and well it's some of these people that I grew up in the same neighborhood with, but now they, they, they're talking like this and talking like that. But that's, that's fine. But that's not going to change who I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, I usually don't make videos this long, but I'm just hanging out with you guys and speaking the truth. We talking about the truth. 
Check out that Ezekiel chapter 2. The Lord wanna, he, he wants us as his foot soldiers, his servants. He wants the true servants to go out and tell these people the truth. Although they are a rebellious house, you got to tell them the truth anyway. That's, that's the assignment. That's the assignment right now in this season. And you had said you weren't even going to talk to these people no more. They had offended you, and, and somehow you felt like you had offended them, so y'all had split ways. This this been years, maybe. It's been years, maybe you. It, that, it just was an afterthought. You had, you have, you had made peace with the fact that it, that you might not, not even never talk to them again. But that's not what the Lord said. The Lord said, if you don't tell them, they blood can be on your. They they bo kodi abasiya ke de they bo saya. They blood can be on your hand. Shataria kabo soria kabisi ke de baya. God forbid. I don't want their blood on my hand. Yeah. So I'm gonna go tell them. They listen. They listen. They don't. They don't. I done what I'm supposed to do. I'm telling this girl, this particular girl, on the strength of she and I. Every year, it seemed like we would be in the same class every year. As, as young, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, elementary, middle school, high school. I didn't know it at the time, but I was going through warfare during high school. And this particular friend, she helped me. So I'm trying to help her back. She helped me. I'm saying she helped me to an extent, to a point that I might not have graduated had it not been for her. So I'm, I'm I mean, I feel as a, as a friend, whether we friends currently or ex friends, I feel like I'm obligated to help her. So I'm gonna go tell her, even if I do feel offended. Even if I do feel away. Then I got to tell her on the strength that her mom came to me two times. And I, I, I never really knew her mom like, 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 like very, very close. Like, you know, to know her mannerisms or any of that. I, I never really knew her mom like like that. But I know her mom know that I'm one of her friends. And I know her mom know that she seen me sitting up in, in, in her, her house, in her living room after she passed away. But at the time, I didn't know her mama could see all that, and she knew all that. I didn't know her mom could see my glow, my light, my exterior. I didn't know she could see my spirit, my continence. From above, through the veil, she can see who I am spiritually. That's why she came to me. That's what she was asking me. I didn't know what she was saying. So all I just told my friend is that your mom came to visit me twice. I didn't know why, so I didn't know what else to tell her. But she probably thought I was crazy. But I'm, I'm going to go tell her on the strength of she helped me. Her mom came to me twice. But most of all, because the Lord really been talking about Ezekiel chapter 2, we have to warn them. We have to warn them. And they a rebellious house. They going to think they better than you. They might talk about you or have gossiped about you in the past, said things about you or got a wrong perception about you. And then when you start living for the Lord, they, they really was doubting you because you you might have always been a troubled you might have always been a troubled soul because they didn't understand they didn't understand um the warfare that you was up against all the time that you was growing up they didn't know that you you didn't know it either you didn't know it either
You didn't know the calling that was on your life. They didn't know it either. That's why, that's why, that's why you face so much opposition. They, they didn't know that. But they had a judgment. They had already put you in a certain category. And they didn't never think you was going to come to the truth and be walking in the light. And see, and see, now you talking about all this stuff. You got all this knowledge about the Lord, but you don't even go to church. And they go to church. They recognize church as a cure-all, do-all, for-all. If you're not going to church, you're not nobody. If you're not wearing no, no church hat and no church clothes and driving no church car, who are you? You're not taking church trips and gathering with the church folks when they get together and drink their tea and do their gossip and laugh at people and have cliques and all that type of stuff. I know what they do in them churches. Talk about people. Gossip. The Lord said, come out from them all now. Come out from them all now. But I want to ask you guys a question before the, I end this video. I'm going to end it. I want to ask you guys a question. Ooh, that airplane looks so big. I want to ask you guys a question. So my question for you is, if the Lord asked you to do something, if the Lord gave you instruction to do something, would you obey? Even if people look at you suspect, or people say, "Why you, why you looking like that? Why you dressing like that? Why, 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 why you, why you, why, why you don't, why you always stay at home? Why you don't never be out? Why you, why you this and why you that?" People and, and and to other people, you might seem strange because of the change. My life is brand new, but I'm not lonesome. I'm not. I'm not miserable. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. Peace is, is golden. I love my peace. I love being without drama. But my question is, I'm going to tell you one of the things the Lord asked me to do. He said, don't wear no more hair weaves, no more makeup. Don't get no tattoos. I already got one little tattoo right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just three little hearts. That's my only tattoo ever. But he told me to repent of my tattoos. Repent. Repent of the makeup. Repent of the clothes that 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 I was wearing. Um. Oh yeah, he told me don't wear no more pants. Don't wear no more leggings. I'm gonna tell you, I about cry when he said no more leg. I said no, my leggings too. Yeah, he was like, yeah. I said, but I always wear long shirts, long um tops with my leggings. I don't expose my exterior posterior show no you know just uh, uh, all my private i don't do that i see a lot of people do that but i don't do that he said no none of that see because those things belong to the kingdom of darkness and the lord said give give them back their stuff you you're not with them so so that's why you 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 trading in that garment for a new garment this garment right here that i'm giving you you might see it as a downgrade but it's an upgrade it's an upgrade because it's representing the kingdom of God. God is holy, and he wants his people to be also holy. Not, not wearing revealing garments and tight garments and things that belong to the kingdom of darkness. So the Lord said, let all that go. If the Lord told you to do something and gave you instruction to go tell friends that you know they done talked about you behind your back because because when you walk in the room you can feel the whole the whole room done shifted when you walked in everybody done stopped talking because the conversation was about you and now you done arrived and they and they, and they looking like the cat got their tongue and then they gonna sit up and be fake the whole time that you there and you don't even want to stay long. Because you already done picked up on the fact that they've been talking about you before you ever even got there. But they're not real enough to tell you whatever it is that they had to say. That mean they fake. That mean they gossipers. 
That mean they done formed an opinion about you when they don't even know the truth. It's okay. It's okay because you made peace with it and you said, well, don't nobody have to kick me out because I got somewhere to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to kick me out. You ain't got to kick me out your group because I'm, I'm in the best company. When I'm, when, I'm in, when I'm in the presence of the Lord, that's, that's the best company you can, that, that's the best company you crowd uh, in the presence of the Holy. And you, 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 you in the best. You ain't got to beg no friends or fake friends or no fake family members or none of that for no time or no fake love because it, it's fake anyway. And when you de can detect, when you finally wake up and you can detect that people been giving you fake love and you don't fall for no more of their manipulation and you say, that, that fake love, oh, that'll never do. And you refuse to accept fake love and fake friendships, fake relationships, fake, fa fake family members, and you refuse to, to accept that. People get mad. They get mad. <laughs> they get mad. Because you can find joy and peace in the presence of the Lord. They get mad. They get big mad. And then that's when you find your self-esteem and your backbone and your own self-love. And you get you get your own courage and your own strength. And you don't care what opinion they draw about you or what they said about you. They get mad. Because you realize at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about the Lord. You realize at the end of the day, it's not about what they think about you. It's not about them either. So who are they to try to impress them? Who are they? Well, most of them not even upright before the Lord themselves. Who are they to form opinions about you? When you over here focus on your own relationship with the Lord and focus on your own walk and your own situation and they forming opinions about you, they worried about you, but you ain't worried about them. You focus on what you're doing and what you and the Lord are doing. So who are they? Do they do they really matter? I'm not I'm no longer I'm mean, yeah, they both cool, y'all. I thank the Lord. He told me to celebrate myself and come out from among them. I don't care what they, not one iota about what they care about me. Because when I was broken in a million pieces and the Lord was working on me one-on-one -on -one and showing me, because even a doctor, even if you go to a psychiatrist or a therapist, they don't know how to help you heal yourself. They'll give you a pill or something and they don't even know they trying different pills on you they, they, they don't even know what pills to give you and all that the lord is the manufacturer he specializes in this he's been doing this from generations to generation he is your creator he knows all about you he knows what it takes to heal you and fix you so why would you go anyplace else so at the end of the day like i said do they really matter where were they when I, when I was struggling to fix myself, when my life was toxic-turvy and broken in, 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 in many pieces, I was, I was crumbled. I, I, was, I was crushed. And everybody had left me for dead and wrote me off and said she'll never make it. She'll never, she'll never come back from this. But that's not what the Lord said. So here I am. Here I am. <laughs> here I am. Today, for the ones that said I wasn't going to make it, here I am today. The author and the finisher of my faith is the Lord, and he said so. So here I am today. It's not up to them. When, when, when I was on my knees many times a day and night and I ain't have no other place to go, I, I couldn't stay off my knees. I was so broken, I had to be on my knees so many times a day and, and night uh, 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 just to keep myself, uh, to, to be able to stand up. Where were they? Now you tell me, do they really matter? Where were they?
They talk about you behind your back and you know it. They laugh at you and call you everything but a child of God and you know it. So who are they? Do they really matter? Y'all think about that. And also think about if the Lord gives you an instruction and tells you something to do, will you be willing to do it? Or are you going to be like the people in Israel that Moses tried to lead out and they died in their disobedience because they are a rebellious house? That's the reason why we still under, well, I ain't going to say we, but some of us are still under curse today. Still cursed from generations to generations because of disobedience. And he said, my people perish for Lack of knowledge. But some people don't want to know the truth. And I say it's a spirit out there, a, a spirit of people where you can't tell them nothing. It's some people you can't tell them nothing. They hard headed and you can't tell them nothing. But yeah, you guys, so whew, I didn't mean to go, go on that far. I never made videos this long, but yeah, I was out here getting some sun and I said, you know what? This will be the best time. This will be the best time to go ahead and do this video. And so, yeah, you guys um, remain blessed and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm just speaking the truth. All right. See you on the next one. God bless you, everyone. Bye.